Well, this is an unusual sight to see for me. Um, I get to harvest corn today. Uh, I have a good friend of mine named Neil. He's out here in West Newton. He sells hay and straw. Um, and he's got a couple corn fields that need harvested. So here I am out here. He gave me the opportunity to come run his combine for him and uh, get this as an experience. So this ought to be fun. He's on the back side of the field now over there behind the trees. He should be back over soon and then I'll hop in the combine and I'll get running some of these rows, but this is gonna be a pretty cool experience. Stay tuned and uh, give it a watch. All right, I don't know if you can hear me very well, but made it into the combine. Just going about a mile and a half an hour. We opened this up on Monday, started picking a little bit, picked about a half tank of corn. And uh, that's all we were able to get to. It got a little dark out. I had an hour ride home, so after that, I went home. Neil came out this morning. He's the, uh, the owner of this combine, and he went, went ahead and started opening up some head headlands for me. Uh, get it a little wider, a little, a little easier to get done. So the yield's getting a little better now. Uh, in the field a little bit off the end rows still got better corn yet in there but we're looking good filling up the tank a little faster now picking some good rows so neil is back with the grain truck up there at the end of the field not quite full yet still got a couple passes to go but Smooth so far. Awesome. Yeah. Going yeah, going real good. Call me if you have any problems. I will. All right, second unload in the truck. That thing is chock full, so. Getting through there. Cool. Full? Yeah, yeah a little bit more. Well, I don't think we're going to make it back down there. You want your thermos?
spit cab corn. Uh, so we got some corn coming over the sides here. We're completely full. I gotta wait for Neil to get back from the elevator. Doing some window washing now. Waiting for Neil to get back with the grain truck, so I had to climb up here, clean some windows. So GoPro battery died, uh, first one did anyway, so filming with the phone here, Grand tank's filling up. Alright, so over here, we got the speed we're going, I'm just climbing up a hill now, we're not harvesting. We're going two and a half up this hill, header engagement, combine, thresher engagement, gear select, speed, header height. This is the real height for a grain header. How you doing? Not bad. How's the shoulder? Uh, good. It's a plate and set screws. Yep. All right. Wait for him. They just took the green car here. All right, guys, so we're waiting here for Neil. It's it's threshing it out pretty good. I had some cab corn come over the side. We're completely full up on the top. So we're waiting for Neil to get back. Isaac's gonna run these next couple passes here. I'm gonna show him the speed and header height that we normally run at. And then uh, we'll be back to going and we'll have this field done probably around lunchtime or so. And heading back home. Once again, I want to send a huge thank you to Neil and Marco Farms for letting us come out and harvest. Like I said, um, this has been a dream of Isaac and I's for quite a long time. Um, being able to come out here and run a run a combine finally, um, being 19 years old for the first time. Um, so this is a really neat experience for us. Got a couple more, couple more passes of corn left to go. And we will be out of here. So we've had a breakdown, Isaac's driving now, um, but the side hill section of the combine, something went wrong in it, and uh, it's leaning to the left. It can still harvest, it shouldn't affect anything that we're working on, so we're going to keep going here and we'll, we'll pick the last couple passes here, we only got about three passes left. We're going to pick them and then uh, we'll be done on this field.
does have a heck of a lean to it. Alright, so we're moving the combine back to the farm now. Isaac's bringing it over. I got the flag here, let people know. So we're going to wait till these cars come by and then we'll pull out onto the road and get this thing back across to Neil's farm. All right, combines across the road. Couldn't get any footage of it because the uh, it was a little difficult. I wanted to make sure we were focusing on getting that thing out and not filming a video. So we're getting up the hill now back to Neil's farm. Nice and easy. The system's still broken on it, so it's still got a heck of a lean to it, as you can see, but we're getting there. Alright guys, that concludes the video. Thank you for watching. If you need any hay or straw, be sure to talk to Neil. That's what his farm does. He does hay and straw sales. I'm headed on the way home. Uh, we got that 10 acres done. We had a couple breakdowns. Uh, first one, we plugged the plugged the feeder house and sheared some shear bolt saw. So we had to fix that. Took a couple minutes, got it back up and going, no problem. And then the side hill feature on the combine actually quit. So we were leaning left pretty hard there towards the end. If you watch the end of the video, um, you can really see the combine leaning left with Isaac driving it up the hill. I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that button. Uh, like it if you want to see more content like this. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.